sandbar. You should see how ravenous I am without you, God. A baby humpback, washed ashore, thrashing with fuck tons of visible scarring. In the Quran, heaven is beneath mother's feet, and yet she will not admit me. Assalamu alaikum. May peace be unto you. Do I have a poem or a binge in me tonight? Both have promised me heaven. When we look like washed out dish rags, we know we are getting better. Holy breasts, holy butt knees, holy doo-wop for a sad party. Set us going like a good sail. Last chance, swim in blood calories. Bourbon and condensed milk. Now double, now triple, now full. No feeling, bone white cream. Wake up with a dream buzz and morning jerk after a rusty fuck with a wing double. A real deep dish lunatic. Hands matter, the ripping of skin. Prayers cloaked in mother's throat. She blows them gently all over her body than mine, a light coating, garden variety bomb. Let's squeeze our Lord calls in before our banquet in hell with lovely posture. Dear Grace, where have you been? Feel free to step in as I step outside myself. Please pardon appearances during reconstruction. Withdrawal is holy. Bless the dish rag which has seen things the day no longer an aftermath of the one before. We all have reasons for forgetting to breathe, so we pray. If the average person has 40,000 thoughts in a day, the addict has four thoughts 40,000 times, which is to say above average, which is to say clouds, four-track mind, thought museum, numb, confused for love. Sometimes all I want are beautiful things to shiver to. I should just live in a museum. After the show, our hearing is numbed and we call it love. It is cloudy, but it is love. I meant to print these, but um, I didn't leave myself enough time because of who I am as a person. <laughs> Give me your raunchy, your cunt and kunst, perky dick and Travis titties. I'll double dip myself. I'll double dip and drug myself in your bonds, buses and toot toot trams. Circumnavigate you, then dive in your bum. I'm tired. We're sucking face in the hallway with a cigarette in one hand and an ice cream cone in the other. This time last year, I called a gangly atheist into my room. I made sure to pray for God to be with me as this person was in me, and I was no longer in me but beside myself. Berlin, your pillows are half the size of my body. In a room. <laughs> In a, room full, in a room full of wrinkled white men, I say self-forgiveness is an antidote to shame. I remember shame in Bengali, Lodja, and pleasure, Maja. How I was taught one could not exist without the other. Sometimes I forget pleasure is a thing at all. It's dawn and I'm damp. Growth appears disguised as messy happenings. Frigid room, in solitude a feeling of safety awakens, come morning, comes morning, Lodja. It is slow, it is necessary, Maja. <laughs> At times I miss the free fall, my pudgy purse, scraping resin with the pin of my industrial piercing, pummeled into the body, pumped out for all to see, shimmery gown, frantic attention, the eventual loneliness of consequence and abstaining from these things. So I place my tongue on minor delights, ruffled egg with Tabasco and rosemary, the sound of a maybe lover coming, seeing a friend's handwriting for the first time and gasping, neon in unexpected places, fluffy hair, scrambled hair to scramble further with fingers, scrunching the shoulders forward and back to find a rubber band stretched across my chest, which with practice becomes an accordion. 
Anxiety is the best show in town. Who needs experimental art? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn God, I patience my body and never do. Did you hear Chestnap? I'm done with ejaculatory endings. Come find me. <laughs> I want my face to be a poem, writes Dorothy Alaskian in Ars Poetica. Love comes with a knife, said Rumi. I thought of mother wanting a face, the violence of perfection, her fingers scraping the insides of things, a tube of fair and lovely the blades of a blender having blended orange peels and turmeric for the face. How she married the war paint swiftly, then slowly self-enslaved. Every morning, Patti Smith shows up at the cafe. I show up for my face. One day I'll grow to love its stankness. The side eye my mother said could kill. I think of Morgan Parker, the line about her bare face hanging all over the counter. Some days I'm barely there. Some days I need a constellation of crutches. Late nights, I Google celebrities with skin issues. This is a way to feel less lonely sometimes. Arthur Russell, Brad Pitt, David Foster Wallace, Courtney Love, Kira Knightley, Kendall Jenner, Kylie Jenner, Brie Larson, Lord, Alicia Keys, Amy Winehouse, Andy Warhol, Andy Warhol, Andy Warhol. <laughs> His skin feelings veiled by ideas and fame. A recent New Yorker published the poem No Makeup by Sharon Olds. We get it, Sharon. You were blessed. <laughs> I, I feel blessed with Spotify, which shuffled me some Diane Wachowski. When her poem, I have had to learn, I have had to learn to live with my face came on. I took a deep breath and bit off mother's fingers. I found there could be space for mine. <laughs> Golkata, I swear I'm spinning. Golkata, you ask what I'm doing. Am I busy? Now I'm behind you on a speeding moto. Golkata, another body hasn't depressed me in a while. I'm never not sticky in you. Golkata, you have to meet first to be touched. Anonymous weddings shoot down the street. Golkata, I bust here to meet some poets, but I can't find a bed. The first night, I made fun, made late and moseyed, got kicked out of a home and took to a dive hostel. Sixteen Marwari girls, everything in tin toughens, a mashi who beds in the balcony. Kolkata, I can't talk about certain things here, the girls don't wipe the sink. Kolkata, I have no valuables. Kolkata, I lost my phone to free beer, doesn't matter, I gave up topping it. My gross personal products consist of a pack of miles, twigs, whiskey, and shrimp curry and coconuts. I insist on resisting the girls. I grow plump and resist wiping down the sink. My head in a bowl of toilet. God was there holding my hair. Kolkata, you made fish interesting. Kolkata, you devil, you divine order to things. Kolkata, my religious temper consists of pinning a prayer rug to the wall. In my own temple, I'd sprinkle nuts. On this roof, I trace spines, and in that dust, I am slowly spinning. Kolkata, I thought I was really very hungry, but I was simply very wanting of speaking Bengali in you. Ami, tumi, o, amra, tomra, ora, I conjure up a sprinkling. As a girl, I wanted none of this. When I left my parents, I had the space to care. I found Bengalis in Barcelona, Bengalis in Berlin. Now I'm filled with questions of you, which is to say Bangladesh. Beyond what hip white men like Dylan and Harrison concluded. There is much, so much, and I am just beginning tracing your outline. A being with its neck outstretched howling. <laughs> Don't worry about death, read the sticker I grabbed from someone's backyard in college which found a home on my laptop, where worry found a home in endless word documents. Faith without works is dead. Let my deathbed be an actual bed, accompanied by a sound collage, the opening chords of In a Graveyard by Rufus Wainwright, and the last two lines of Louise Hay's morning meditation, which is not a meditation so much as an urge to bless up. Stovetops and airplanes need love, just like us, she says. I love you and we will be together again to close out the day, she says. 
According to the New York Times, there are 36 questions that lead to love. Do you have a secret hunch about how you will die? <laughs> Alone on Museum Island, 1.30 a.m., pondering the colonial legacy of death masks and strangulation injustice. It really is too much sometimes. Do what you can when you can. Trust the fragments, quick fucks, and friends, adding to one blessed hole in the large, veiny hands of death. Unfair that it could all be over in a sec. But when Frank says heaven would be dying on a bed of vanilla ice cream, I think, yes, yes. <laughs> the problem with cool. Artists are fascinated with saying in space, bodies in space, movement in space, time in space, and time in space, and time in space, and simultaneity, vortex, quantum, astro. Sometimes I look at a piece and think, what the hell is happening here? I want to confirm that we are cooing over this man, his white cube crassness. <laughs> dash of brown and black for aesthetics. Sometimes I look at art and space out. Sometimes I'm moved through clubs and think, what the hell is happening here? No one's dancing. The mood is manufactured and broody. The concern is lazy cool. This is good. I'm working on anger. Anger slides out sideways sometimes. This is good. Sometimes a room full of questionable merit and movement are the safest containers to hold said anger and cradle it in space. Is there time for, okay, I like didn't time myself. Uh, I think this is the last. Ode to stretch marks, gracing my ass like lace doilies. My back to the mirror revealed the graceless cream white reveal. At 17, I decided I needed less mass on my body. I ripped into myself and raged. When the mass crept back, the mark struck too. Some people flicker in you and go out as quick. Others start a delicate fire. Dear rage, precious, stretchy thing, in the grace of you, I grow. Thank you so much. Yeah.